forward and back azimuth. So in the previous meeting, we discussed on getting the back and the forward bearing and vice versa. Okay, so again, we let me illustrate a line. You have this initial point and this is the final point. Okay, so in other words, your line progresses from uh, here to this point. Okay, so let me draw a north, south, east, west line and the initial point and also the azimuth, okay? So the azimuth, since this is the initial point, so this is the forward azimuth, okay? So what is azimuth again? It is from the south branch of the meridian. So from here, going to that direction, this is the azimuth forward, okay? Now, if I will draw also a line or the north, south, east, west line and the terminal point, okay? So this is the terminal point and then the azimuth here is from the south branch to the line, okay? Since this is the terminal point, this is the back azimuth, okay? So you have back Now, if you look at this one, uh, this meridian, this north-south line, and also the north-south line at the terminal point are parallel, okay? And therefore, the angle from here, no, or this angle here, and also this angle are equal. Likewise, you have this angle which is 180 degrees. This is a straight angle. So in other words, there is a difference between the forward and back be, uh, azimuth by 180 degrees. Okay? So what if, okay, what if you have the initial point? This is the initial point and you have here the terminal point. Okay? So let me draw again the north, south, east, and west line. Okay? And here, this is the north, south, east, west line at the terminal point. Okay, terminal. And this is the initial. Uh, also, this is the initial. And this is terminal point. Okay. Okay. So, in other words, this line goes in this direction. From here to here. Here. Okay. So we have here the azimuth. The azimuth at the terminal at the initial point is from the south branch to the line. Okay? So this is azimuth forward. Okay? And also the if I will draw the azimuth at the terminal point, this will be also my azimuth. Okay? This is called the azimuth back. Okay. So we have here two situations. One is that the forward azimuth, the forward azimuth is greater than 180 degrees. Okay. So you have forward azimuth is could be uh, greater no? or equal to 180 degrees. That is for the case number one. Okay. And then you have here forward azimuth is lesser than 180 degrees. Okay. That is your case number two. Okay. You have the forward azimuth is lesser than 180 degrees. Okay, so the question is, what is the back azimuth? Okay, there are only two cases. One is great, equal and greater uh, 180 degrees. The other one is lesser than 180 degrees. So looking at this scenario, no? 
So you have forward azimuth is greater or equal to 180 degrees or greater than 180 degrees to get this one which is equal to this angle here is just you have to subtract no you have to subtract by 180 degrees so therefore you have to get the back azimuth of the forward azimuth with one uh, greater or equal to 180 degrees you have to subtract no 180 degrees it would be forward minus 180 degrees so that is the formula okay that is for case one another thing is that if it is lesser than 180 degrees just in this case so same yun di hapon ang kaning angle this angle and this one is the same uh, it's just that the orientation is different okay so to get the back azimuth so you have back azimuth that is for the lesser 180 degrees then that would be equal to forward azimuth plus 180 degrees so that is just the formula okay so if you don't want to memorize this formula you just understand this concept okay so again we have two cases one is that the forward azimuth is equal or greater than 180 degrees you have to subtract 180 degrees from the forward if the forward azimuth is lesser than 180 degrees then you have to add 180 degrees to the forward azimuth to get the back azimuth okay okay so example so find the back azimuth of the following so given the forward azimuth uh, find the back azimuth okay so we have 30 degrees so this is lesser than 30 degrees i mean this is lesser than 180 degrees so you have to add okay so that is 180 plus uh, 30 give you 210 degrees okay 256 so this is more than 180 degrees so you have to subtract by 180 so 256 degrees minus 180 will give you 76 degrees okay another 111 uh, 115 degrees and 30 minutes so you have the answer of course that is lesser than 180 degrees so therefore you have to add by 180 degrees okay so you have 115 degrees 30 minutes plus 180 degrees will give you 295 degrees and 30 minutes and then of course you have zero so what is zero degrees zero is lesser than or z this is case one okay so it's lesser than 180 degrees so you have to add so zero plus 180 of course that is 180 degrees so that is all about the converting forward and back azimuth and vice versa